Hello everyone. Welcome to another question answer session on Chem Wonders. In this session, we have got only one question to answer, and that is about the Hamid acidity function. So let's begin. Right, so uh, the question has been asked by uh, Anwar Ali, and uh, he asks about the use of Hamid acidity function for for highly concentrated strong acids in place of pH. So you already know about the equation for the dissociation of uh, acids, a very uh, well-known general equation that is uh, HA leads to H plus ion and A minus ion and then we can uh, write the equation for the dissociation constant uh, which is equal to H plus or the concentration of H plus multiplied by the concentration of A minus that is the conjugate base divided by the concentration of the acid. Now when we talk about strong acids at high concentration well, you see strong acids they are dissociated completely which means that in this equation that is HA leads to H plus plus A minus HA would be completely dissociated into hydrogen ion and its conjugate base which means that no HA will be left in the solution and if you look at the equation HA is in the denominator which means it will be zero so the overall value cannot be equated so for very strong acids we cannot use this equation so another value was devised by Hamid which is known as the Hamid acidity function now we're talking about very strong acids like super acids so when we have a very strong acid, its conjugate base would be very weak. So we can derive this equation by considering the very weak conjugate base of a very strong acid. So a very weak conjugate base is denoted by BH+. Plus. So when a base takes up the proton from the very strong acid, it becomes BH+. Plus. So we can write the equation for the Hamid acidity function, which is denoted by H naught, that is equal to the negative log of KBH plus. BH plus, as you know, is the conjugate base of the very strong acid, minus the log of BH plus divided by the concentration of B. Now this is for very really strong acids and in, in very high concentration. But if you take it in dilute solution, then of course you can apply the equation to this and the negative log of KBH plus becomes the concentration of B multiplied by the concentration of hydrogen ion divided by the concentration of BH plus. And then putting it in the previous equation, in place of P, K, B, H plus, we can get the final equation, which ultimately is equal to the negative log of H plus and which is equal to the pH. The normal pH range is from 0 to 14. And that is when we take the acid as an aqueous solution in water, right? We can use the Hamid acidity function for determining the acidity of a strong acid in different non-aqueous solvents or you can use it for determining the acidity of different strong acids or super acids in one non-aqueous solvent. So we can use the equation for determining this and remember that when we talk about Hamid acidity function the value which is not taken as the pH, we call it the activity then, then it goes into minus. Like for one molar concentrated solution of an acid, of a strong acid, the pH is zero. So if the concentration is higher than one molar, then the value goes below zero 
and you can have values in minus 20s, minus 30s, and even up to minus 60s. So again, for very strong acids like super acids and at high concentration, we cannot use the normal henderson hazel bush equation. We cannot use the pH values, but in fact, we use the, the Hammett acidity function which can give us values below zero or if you write it as minus h naught then you can have the values as a positive value but it actually is below zero which means that the acids are very strong so i hope you have got answer to your question why we use the hamic acidity function in place of ph for very strong acids so if you have very strong acid, it is dissociated completely. So the normal equation for the dissociation constant cannot be used because HA is equal to zero. And in place of that, we use this new equation and calculate H naught values, which is the Hammett acidity function. I hope this satisfies your question. For the rest of the viewers, please send your questions on the email address given below. I'll be waiting for your questions. See you with the new session next Friday with new questions. Thank you so much for watching.